Hello crafters and lovers of all things Christmas. This is Carla Sweet from Scrap and Create and today I'm here to do a project share of my newly created little folio featuring the adorable paper from Graphic 45, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Now this little folio measures six and a half by six and a half and it was created using Photo Play Folio 4. This little kit has everything you need to create this folio. I do a modified build of this, which I have a full tutorial on show, to show you how I built this. Now this folio uses a combination of 8x8 and 12x12 paper packs and a few of the chipboard elements. This front cover we are featuring the 8x8 image from the signature page. We die cut this out with a circle die cut. And then we backed it on coordinating green cardstock that has a little shimmer to it. Now, I just got this cardstock at Joann's. It had the green shimmer. But if you just have regular old green cardstock, you can just add your own little shimmer using Winka Stella. Now this Winka Stella, if you haven't used it, you should get it. If you're making Christmas albums, this just adds a little glitter wherever you put it, and who doesn't like glitter for Christmas? And then we have Santa matted on some designer paper from the 8x8 collection, and this has been matted on that green glitter paper also. Here's our plaid paper from the 8x8 collection. And we have our little Christmas sentiment down here, also from the 8x8 signature page. And then just some cut aparts um, from the designer paper that we put in here. So that's the front cover on this side. On this side, we're featuring, featuring paper from the 8x8 collection. These stamps are from the 12x12 and they've been double matted and it matted on that green sparkle paper again. And here we continue with that sentiment, "'Twas the night before and Christmas is on the inside flap." And then just some little cut aparts here and here. And then I like, <laughs> I always like to use these little closures. So I have it here where Santa looks like he is going to be opening this little flap. That was my intent, my intention at least. Here's some little ribbon from my stash, a little chipboard element, and a half circle from that glitter paper. And this is us telling us this is where we should open up our little folio. The spines are pretty simple using that plaid paper. And I fell in love with this image. Is that going in and out of focus there? And I fell in love with this image. It's one of the cut aparts. I just love these little kids on the stairs. And this plaid paper is matted on that green shimmery paper also. And the back, oops, my little tag fell out. And on the back, we have that plaid paper also matted on that green shimmery paper also. And we have a cut apart from the eight by eight that we made into a little pocket. And then we have this little tag from the 8x8, which I just thought was so cute. If you're giving this as a gift for and from, and it has a place for the, the, the year if you want. So this just fits back in here. And you have a little gift ready to go. So let's open up and look inside. So here we're going to open it with our little flap there. So we are going to start with the story. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. So we have a little mouse cut apart right there. This little cut apart was from the 12 by 12 collection and we made a little pocket out of it. And we have this little insert that we created and matted it on the back. You can put photos or journaling on this. And then we created this little booklet 
from the 8x8 collection. Just folds out places for little photos or some journaling if you like. And that just fits right in here. Then we open this up and the story continues. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. So we made a little flap with this piece here. We made a little flap and we added a card from the 8x8 collection. And these little strips were from an 8x8 designer paper. So this opens up. We have a little photo mat up here. We have a little tuck spot space down here from the border paper down here. Made a little photo mat right here. And all things little kids, I just love them. So this is a little scrap that I had left over. So I just rounded the corners and inked it and put that right in there. Here is another little photo mat right here. Got this strip from the 12 by 12 signature page. Put that there to make a little tuck spot. Here's a little card from the eight by eight, the little mat on the back. And then I just love these little tiny stamps. Now these little tiny stamps are from the eight by eight collection. I just did some inking on those and put those down there. This is closed by a magnet. And then down here, we have this from the border strip page. I made a little tuck spot out of it. So we have all these little stamps. So I just love those little kids with their stockings. Oh my gosh, just so cute. And then these little stamps are from the 12 by 12 collection. So we just put those in there. You can put anything you like down in this tuck spot, but I just thought those were so cute. And then our story continues. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. So again, we use a cut apart from the 8x8 collection. We matted it in red. This, this is actually a little die cut photo frame, but you can use mat, red cardstock matting also and we created these little photo inserts again featuring the little kid oops those little kitties i just love them so a photo frame back in here that fits in there and another little cut apart from the 12 by 12 collection so those fit in here so lots of photo and journaling opportunities here this is part of the accordion piece of the folio it just flips over here and let me take this out so I can show you what we did. So we created this photo frame using one of the, the cut aparts from the 12 by 12 collection and I just cut the inside of that card out to create this photo frame and added some um, paper from the collection behind it. I raised the, the edges of this little photo frame so we can slip in our, pay, our um, photograph. I did some fussy cutting of Santa. He's my favorite. I just love this Santa. Here he is from the 8x8 collection. I fussy cut him out with his bag of toys, a little horse, and then I fussy cut this little cutie pie. Isn't she adorable? Oh my goodness. So I fussy cut her out. She's from one of the 12 by 12 cut aparts. I just tucked her back in there. I just thought she was so cute. So this is made to slip in a four by six photo of your choice. Just slips right in there. So you can have your own little munchkin in there. And when I create these, if there's an accordion that you need to pull out, I usually add these little round half circles so that will let the recipient of your little folio know to pull this. Because when you open this up, this is what you're going to see first. So you 
pull this and it opens up these flaps here. So we have our story here and then we have this little flap here and then we turn this and open this and we come to our center of the folio. Now we have a pocket here and a pocket here that are built exactly the same. So we feature the holly paper from the 12 by 12 and this, I just love this paper. This is from the 8 by 8 collection with all these sayings. It's just such beautiful paper. And then we made some, some photo inserts. That fits in there. And here's some cut aparts from the 12 by 12 collection. And just matted that on the back also for another photo. And this is another cut apart from the 8x8 collection. Everything's matted on black cardstock. This is exact, built exactly the same as the other side. Again, using a photo insert that we created and some more cut aparts. Just gorgeous little cut aparts. Uh, this is from the 12x12 that was matted with the black cardstock. And then this little cutie is from the 8x8 collection, also matted. That fits in there. And then we come to the center panel. This has a, a large flap that opens up. Here we're featuring one of the 8x8 cards. That's where I got those little images of the kids on the stairs. Just love. This is probably my favorite image. I just love that image. And then this opens up. We made this little tab opening here. This opens up and we come to this gorgeous image of St. Nicholas. Now he's featured on, on one of the page, on designer pages. So we also used a round uh, circle die cut to cut him out and again matted him on that green sparkling um, paper. And these are some images that we punched out from the same paper that this image is taken from and matted them on red cardstock. And then we come to this big pocket below the flap. Now this is going to house a large photo mat and of course, I had to use one of my little kiddos here again for my pull tab. Love, love, love this. And this is a large photo mat that sits in here. Here's a cut apart from the 12 by 12 collection. Again, matted with the black card stock and matted on the back for some more photo opportunities. That fits in here. This goes right in here. And I just love the way the holly just kind of flows through these images. So really pretty. So that closes. This turns over. And now we're on the last spread here. So we have these pockets here. So we have two pockets here. They are covered with images from the 8x8 collection cut aparts here and here. And we made these little inserts that are matted on the back side. More photo opportunities, journaling, whatever you like. Those just fit right in here. And then we come to our last page, which is this large pocket. And of course, I had to feature my favorite paper. And here it says one more time, "'Twas the night before Christmas." Just love, love this paper. And here is our large photo mat that we created using the candy stripe paper from the 12 by 12 collection. And we made this little pull tab from a chipboard element. So that just fits and plenty of photo space here. That just fits right in here. And that is our folio. Nice, nice, solid little folio. Easy, fairly easy to make, especially once you've done one. If you do another one, 
you'll figure it out and you'll get these done pretty quickly. So I, in the link below, I will have a material list of what we used and we have most of these at Scrap and Create for you. Let me know if you have any questions. This is the first time I've done a walkthrough, so I'm sure I left some things out. Just let me know. I will hopefully get better and watch the tutorials. Everything you need to create this is in the tutorials, from building the folio to adding the paper to doing all the design elements at the end. The, the tutorial is complete. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you get started and start creating these little cuties. Bye.